It's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. So, the Bay Bridge is still broken, and yesterday I went to work, and then I went to work, and then I went to bed. Surely something must have happened yesterday. No, I put the Simpsons on. And after 10 minutes, I had to turn it off because I had to work. And I couldn't listen, I couldn't read and watch The Simpsons at the same time. I added a lot of different things for Yahoo. There's just the front page packages on the front page of Yahoo.com. You know, those I can do anywhere. But every now and then, I get something that I actually have to read. And then I can't have any interruptions. So, sorry Simpsons, it didn't work out. Luckily, it was the Treehouse of Horror episode, and I've seen, I just don't care about those at all. I just like good, regular episodes of The Simpsons. I don't want anthologies, I don't want clip shows, I don't want Halloween episodes, nothing. So next week I imagine they'll go back to normal programming and that'll be great. Don't forget tonight at 2 o'clock it becomes 1 o'clock unless you live in certain places that are more enlightened and don't deal with daylight savings time. No S, daylight saving time. Hopefully we'll be able to get rid of daylight saving time soon. It actually makes people use more energy. And the reason why is because there's more light out when they're awake. So they're doing things that use energy. In addition, it's warmer, so that means that extra time at work in the afternoon is now being spent at home, that extra hour. You're more likely to use your own air conditioning or fans or heaters in the winter. Well, heaters know what they like saving time in the winter because they figured it out. It's not saving energy. So, you know, hopefully they'll figure it out. I think we're going to need another Democratic president in order for it to happen. Obama's not going to get to this, and a Republican would never get rid of daylight saving time, because why would you change something? Republicans like things the way they are. So whoever succeeds Obama, if happens to be a Democrat, that is going to be the one that gets rid of daylight saving time. Whatever the next Democratic president is, it's going to be incumbent on them. Um, also not very exciting. What can I tell you? It's the last couple of days have been very exciting. I remembered what it was I was going to talk about in yesterday's episode, but it's too late now. It's the day after yesterday. It's today. Today is the day after yesterday. So it's Halloween. I hope you have a good time. Remember tomorrow, most important day of the year, half price Halloween candy at your local store. I want you up at 8 a.m. tomorrow. No NFL countdown on ESPN. No football preview shows of anything. No main event. No nothing. I want you to get to your local CVS, your local Safeway, your local Rite Aid, your local Walgreens, Walmart, Target, whatever. And look for half price Halloween candy and don't pay a penny more than half price either because somebody is going to have it. Buy that shit out. I am prepared. I have been saving my extra bucks from CVS. I've got $5 off any purchase of $30 or more, so I'm going to buy $60 worth of Halloween candy for $30 and get $5 off. And then I'm going to bring it to work and have a giant bowl of candy at Stanford for everyone that I work with. It's going to be fantastic. But I still don't remember what I was going to talk about yesterday. Today. About yesterday. So I'm going to give up. That's all the time we have for today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at joelshitshow.com.